And so um, one of the one of the real important things I want to this is like my main point I would like to make tonight. This is some the point I felt the Lord put on my heart for tonight. And that is prophecy is coming to pass. You need to pay attention. Like, like, don't fall asleep. Um, you know, I know it seems like, and listen, I know it seems like things are taking too long sometimes. You know, you're like, Jesus, when are you coming? It's taking too long. And I know that we, me, you, all of us, we are humans. And as humans, we have a natural tendency to fall asleep in this world and succumb to the sleep uh, as we get consumed by the cares of this world. That's our tendency. You can just start to slip into sleep and slip. You know, you know it. We've all experienced it. Slipping back into the world, starting to get caught up again with the, the cares of this world and the affairs of this world, falling asleep. I think of the apostles, you know, when when Jesus went to the garden to pray and he was like, pray with me, keep watch with me. And he went to pray and then he just fell asleep. And he came back and said, wake up, pray. And he went to pray and then they fell asleep. We are no greater, guys. We're the same way, aren't we? Constantly battling our flesh, our natural tendency to fall asleep in this world. And that is what this normalcy does it's wicked we're like boiled frogs i mean i know you're the same as me you what used to be a news story that would rock the world is like a tuesday now and you forget about it by thursday it's it's so much coming at you you're numb to it that's don't think this is normal in other words this is not uh, this is not a good place anymore. This is a Sodom and Gomorrah type of world that we're in now and growing worse. And we have a tendency to slip back into the world, even still to fall asleep, to quit watching, to not pay attention, to get caught up with the affairs of this world. But listen, guys, now is not a time to sleep don't miss it, family. You were born for the Super Bowl grand finale of human history. Don't miss it. You know, don't let this day catch you off guard. It is not supposed to catch you off guard. Scripture says this day is not supposed to catch you off guard. You're supposed to see, you're supposed to see the prophecies. You're supposed to see the rapture is coming because the tribulation's coming and you know the rapture's coming first. You're supposed to see the day of the Lord coming. We're not excited about the day of the Lord. The Bible says, don't be excited about the day of the Lord. I'm excited about what happens the moment before the day of the Lord. The very first shot across the bow, the rapture. And why am I excited about the rapture? I'm not excited because I just want to get out of here. I'm not excited because um, I think I'm special and I deserve a ticket out of here. No, listen, you know why I got saved? I got saved because I placed my faith in Jesus. I saw what Jesus did for me, that he paid the price for my sins on the cross by shedding his blood on the cross for my sins and that he is coming back again to receive me so that where he is, I may be also. And I place my hope in him. The hope of my faith, the hope of my salvation is to be with him. I don't know why, but there's so many Christians out there walking around like being a Christian only has to do with, uh, you know, what here and now. And they have no care for actually being with Jesus. They, they don't like it if you talk about Seeing Jesus, finally getting to be with Jesus. The rapture, that's what that is, guys. It's getting to be with Jesus. The hope of our salvation. They, they say, oh, put your head down and just get out there and 
fulfill the mandate and preach the gospel. And don't you dare watch. Don't you look up. Keep your head down. No. Scripture says to share the gospel, um, preach the gospel, get the word out. And it says to watch and look up. So I'm going to I'm going to obey the whole word of God. And uh, I am not I was not just saved for the here and now. I have hope in my salvation. So many Christians are running around like hope wasn't part of the deal. Like you. OK, you you know, you have you have eternity and you are saved. But don't don't be excited about seeing Jesus. I don't let's not, not, not even talk about getting to see him or be with him. Just. Why are you so obsessed with it? That's I got saved to be with Jesus because I believe in Jesus. I want to see Jesus. And the Bible says, when you see these things, look up. I'm excited, guys. Jesus is coming soon. He's the hope of my salvation, the author and finisher of my faith. So the reason we talk about the rapture is because the rapture is near. And the rapture means being with Jesus. The hope of our salvation. The Bible says we are saved, we're being saved, and we will be saved. That will be saved part is very near. So don't fall asleep. It's time to pay attention. I want to read 1 Thessalonians 5, 2 through 11. It says, For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night, while people are saying there is peace and security. Then sudden destruction will come upon all them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, now we're talking to the believer, but you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. So listen, the world is going to be completely caught off guard. You're not supposed to be. You're not supposed to be. It says, but you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. Don't fall asleep. Don't get wrapped up into the cares of this world and think, ah, he's not coming. I'm just going to fall back asleep. Don't. Keep praying. Keep watching. It says, we are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us, what does it say? Let us, um, I lost my place here, keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. And if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you're running out of time. You need to get saved right now. Jesus is coming soon. You need to put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. You need to believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And you need to do it now because tomorrow is not promised. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. Get saved right now because tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.